Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my video about uh, what's an SJW. <laughs> so uh, I have this app, YouTube Studio, and it shows you all the comments from all your videos, and even very old videos. Somebody will just find a video from two years ago, and they will comment on it. So one of the comments was just, "What is?" Well, they said, "What is a SJW?" I feel like it seems weird to say "a" uh, and not "un," so I say, "What is an SJW?" Now I did a video a year and change ago something like the 12 traits of social justice warriors. Um, and uh, the funny thing is that as you think about something more, you refine and you can actually describe them with less traits. So now I've actually gotten it down to four. So let's just start right away. So actually I'll read all four and then I'll go through them. Number one is hate filled. Number two is high emotion, low intelligence. Number three is a desire to control. Number four, yeah, this uh, insecure narcissism. So hate-filled. So years ago, I was reading this interview with Janine Garofalo, who was a thing back in the 1990s. And there used to be this phrase called the bleeding heart liberal. And it meant that you just cared so much for everyone, for all these aggrieved groups. It was like your heart was just bleeding for them all the time. So she was talking about she was such a bleeding heart. She was such a liberal. And then she, it, back in the day, print, interviews were very long. They would be like 10 plus pages. And every page or two, she would mention a group that she hated, that she despised. And these were very large groups. It was like Christians, people from the Midwest, Republicans. And by the end of it, I remember thinking it's like, she hates like 85% of the country. And yet she's sitting there and saying like, Oh, I, I'm just, my heart just bleeds for, well, I mean, 15% of the country, apparently. So one of the things you'll notice is they will constantly talk about uh, bigotry and discrimination and all sorts of isms, but their main motivation is to hate. They were able to get Trump out of office, and I predicted this. I go, their Twitter feeds are going to look the same. It's just going to be the names that are changed. It's always like, you know who's so bad? Trump. And then they get rid of Trump and they're like, you know who's so bad? Uh, who? Trump's gone. Who? Mitch McConnell. And then, you know, now it's, you know who's so bad? I'm going to guess Ted Cruz. Wow. How did you know? Because you always hate someone. Your day revolves around hating people. So uh, number two, it's high emotion, low intelligence. So you're going to find yourself with SJWs constantly being put into um, emotional blackmail situations. And they do this because, again, with hate filled, their emotions take precedence over everything. But number two, they are mostly of very average or low intelligence and they can't defend their beliefs for various reasons. Number one, they're just low intelligence in general, so they're not good at debating things. Number two, what little intelligence they have, they know that their rules are different for different people. They can say, um, don't be a Nazi like every day and it's fine. Gina Carano says it and that's anti-Semitism. So they're going to constantly hit you with the emotion hose to emotionally blackmail you, to cover up for their lack of intelligence, to cover up for the lack of any consistency in the rules that they're always inconsistently applying to people, uh, which leads to number three, the desire to control. There's never going to be a situation where SJWs make things easier for you. They are always going to make things worse because they are always going to add new rules. The new rules are to discombobulate you, to put you in fear, and to put themselves in control. What do they want to do with the control once they have it? Not really anything. <laughs> they Actually, they seem to be uh, singularly uh, disappointed when they get in control, they're like, oh my God, now we have to like run the country? Yikes, not a good look. This is a racist country. So if you run it, you're a racist. Uh, so they have a desire to control, but not the ability. Once they get in any position of power, they don't really know what to do besides hire cronies and break more things, which leads to number four, insecure narcissists. Almost everything they do is a pose. In fact, sometimes it is several poses upon each other, but it all has one goal. So they can stop any conversation that is occurring between any groups of people and say, excuse me, excuse me, I, I need everyone's attention. 
I do not like slavery. And they're like, dude, we were talking about Bitcoin. Yeah, so Bitcoin is slavery and I don't like it. I also don't like regular non-Bitcoin related slavery. I need everyone to know that I'm a good person and that you all are bad. I need bad people to know that I'm good. I'm good. It's extremely mentally ill <laughs> to constantly need other people to tell you you are a good person. So that's it. Quick short video. Again, if you want to know what is an SJW, hate-filled, high emotion, low intelligence, a desire to control, and insecure narcissists. So let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you would add to this list. I actually feel lists are best when they are shortest, when you condense it to key traits. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.